This is lesson 8.10 on noun clauses as objects of prepositions, and it is on page 158. Again, most of this lesson is review, but we did just have a week off, so you might want to review your notes or the other videos from this past section because it will help you in this lesson. So as your warm-up, I want you to look for a pencil in your house. Then write a sentence on where you found the pencil. So pause the video now and write your sentence. So I have some examples. I found a pencil on my desk. I found a pencil in a drawer. I found a pencil under my bed. And the thing that all three of these sentences have in common is that they all have prepositions. On my desk, in a drawer, under my bed. All of these are prepositional phrases that also have objects of your preposition. So on what? On the desk. In what? In the drawer. Under what? Under my bed. Okay, and I circled those objects for you. And let's begin the notes. Again, I am taking this from page 158, so I'm basically reading the page and copying definitions that you should know. So a preposition tells position or shows relationship. An object of a preposition answers what after the preposition. So with the pencil, it was in where or in what? It was in the drawer. Okay? And then it says noun clauses can function as objects of prepositions. Remember, a clause has a subject and a predicate. It has a who or a what, and it has a what they're doing, a verb. So in that example, I actually copied the three examples that they gave you onto here. It says, we learned about desert biomes. So about is the preposition. Desert biomes is a subject, but it doesn't have a predicate. So this is not a noun clause. That does not count as the object of the preposition. Okay. The next one, it says, we learned about what the characteristics of desert biomes are. So characteristics is the subject, R is the predicate, that's the verb, so this one is a noun clause being used as the object of a preposition. So it's kind of hard to tell the difference. These both have prepositions, these both have nouns or objects, but the second one is a noun clause because it has a subject and a predicate. The last example I have is, I am interested in how animals adapt to dry environments. So this is the third sentence, and it's asking what is the noun clause. So the first thing we need to do is find the preposition, in. What are you interested in? How animals adapt to dry environments. Animals is the subject, adapt is the predicate, a clause has a subject and a predicate, so this is a noun clause. Exercise 1 says, identify each noun clause used as the object of a preposition. Not all sentences have such a clause. Okay, so our first step is to find the preposition and see if the object of that preposition has a subject and a predicate. So number one, it says, many species of animals make their homes in what is sometimes referred to as the American Serengeti. So the preposition is in. So the noun clause is everything after that preposition, what is sometimes referred to as the American Serengeti. Number two, Wyoming's red desert covers more than five million acres. So there is no preposition, and therefore there is no noun clause. So I wrote none. And number three, it is a basin with what are considered bad winters. With is the preposition, everything after the preposition, what are considered bad winters. Winters is the subject, considered is the predicate, so that is a noun clause. Some of you may have noticed that you are doing exercise one as your exit ticket today, so here are three free answers. Okay, good luck!